So Aquarius, you know, this person you're dealing with their attachment style. That's what's going on here. So let's get some insight. Let's continue reading and get some insight into how to maneuver when it comes to dealing and handling with this person. Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, and vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. If you look in the uh, description bar below. You'll see where it says start start reading and uh, click on that and it'll bring you to the uh, start of the reading. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, whoop. Stick around as sometimes there could be, you know, just messages throughout that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. So just give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. Going to take these in. So Aquarius, let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up, just make sure this mic's on. <laughs> Perfect. Um, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always slip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just, just kind of touching on past. For you, it was like something came in for you with the represented by the queen, sorry, the wheel of fortune. Then that kind of represents things turning in your favor in some way, shape or form. So it seems like something turned in your favor and there was this feeling of a blessing, this, you know, blessing coming in in some way. I feel like maybe a challenge, and this is for some of you, a challenge was possibly overcome or you finally got to connect or solidify something with this person. But something definitely turned around for you. Uh, Aquarius, let me just pull on that and see if we can, yeah, and it made you feel like the sun, you know, a blessing, um, yeah, do you see that? A connection, we got the two of cups, which talks about a strong emotional connection. So something came up, turned around for you in terms of you being closer to this person, bringing you and this person closer and for them, you know. They kind of were seeing you as someone, you know, the, the king, the king, which is someone who's stable, emotional, emotional, maturity, reliable, um, the stability more so. There is this uh, prominent idea of you being stable, you being stable. But with that, there is this holding back with the four, this holding back. It's interesting because it seems like this person realized the blessing in you and what you represent because we do have that will of fortune as well but there is this holding back and I feel like it's tied to this what, what's going on for them now it makes sense this makes sense and we'll bring it to where it is now which is moving it's moving forward but it hasn't reached its destination yet so let me kind of dive into that so when we're talking about the three of, of wands it's it's you know, the two of wands represents a decision that's already been made and the three represents, okay, now we're moving towards something, but we've not reached that destination yet. Uh, the ships have not come in yet. And that's where this connection currently stands. But what's happening is, is it's causing you to be, I'm, I'm iffy about using the word controlling, although it's got this, and that's only because it's coming from a place of, well, if we feel this, why are we not moving forward smoothly why are you why is there obstacles or why is there slight challenges and that's causing you to show up as the queen this a bit you know, controlling or making sure this person is keeping to their word that type of thing and this person is responding to that in a way of you know i don't really want to deal with this i'm not 
I don't have time to deal with this or I don't want to deal with this. And that's simply based on what's going on for them, which is this tower, this tower. We'll get to that in a minute. I want to touch on, on you and what you want first, which is this empress. You're wanting to birth something. You're wanting to, yeah, create a family for some of you. You want to bring it to the next level. You want to build together. You want to you know, maybe get married. What your challenge is, is waking up to what's really going on for this person. You know, with the page, the page talks about a realization, an epiphany, but that's in your challenge. And that's your challenge is waking up to what's really going on for this person. So what is going on for this person? They're seeing, there's awareness of how they are or how they're acting is causing a disruption. There's, they're aware of that. They're definitely aware of that. Their challenge is actually the two, which is emotional connection. This person finds it difficult to, to emotionally connect. There's barriers around that for them. There's challenges and it has nothing to do with you. So I wouldn't take it personally. So that's what you're feeling. That's what you're picking out. Then you're, you're wanting, mm, be careful that you don't, because we've got that knight of swords there. Be careful that you don't act reckless. Be careful that you don't push this person to do something that they're not ready for. To move ahead because you're there. You know, you're, you're, you're ready. You're there. You know what it is that you want. You know where you want it to go. And it's easy for you to connect. It's easy for you to open up. It's easy for you to, you know, be in that space. But for them, it, it's difficult, very much so. That's difficult for them. They don't know how to open up. They don't know how to even express to you what's going on for them, which is causing them to have this lack of clarity. It's like they expect you to, uh, I'm going to say it, but it's not totally what I need. Mean. It's like they expect you to mind read or to, to read their mind. Um, maybe this is someone that you've been dealing with for a while. But they definitely want, there's a long-term feeling around this for them. But it's like, can this, I get this sense of, and we'll move into part two of the reading, get a fuller picture and kind of dive into what's really going on for this person. Um, but it, I get this sense of, I, I need you to press the but my buttons that need to be pressed in order for me to feel comfortable to connect. I need you to know how to, wind me up in order for me to connect emotionally with you but the problem with that is you don't know what it is you don't know what buttons to press you don't know how to wind this person up by no fault of your own this person is dealing with just this this complications around that but like maybe it stems from i'm gonna pull on that four maybe it says stems from childhood Maybe it stems from, feel like this fear. Yeah, let's see. Two of Wands. Yeah, they decided it's like, I don't know how this person expects to progress, or we've got this, the Wands as well, the, the, the King of Wands on top of that hall. So this person has definitely made a decision to hold back. You know, really, and we've got the king on top of that. So they're not budging. They're not looking to budge unless those buttons are being pressed or unless, there we go, that's it. Unless they, unless they, unless you press the right combination, it's like a safe trying to open up a, a, a safe and, and, you know, you're kind of trying these different combinations. It's that type of thing. But they're not telling you. They're not giving you any clues. I don't even think this person has even expressed really what's going on. Which is, which is, I mean, how do you expect to progress in a relationship if you're not easily, I mean, everyone faces different challenges, isn't it? So no judgment over here, but we'll move into part two of the reading and we're looking to see what's more, more, you know, get more clarity on what's going on for them in terms of this blockage, this challenge around emotionally connecting to you. Cause that seems to be the big challenge when it comes to moving this forward to reach the destination that I thought you both want. So see you guys, uh, should be, part two should be showing up on the screen as we speak, guys. So click on that, um, and I should see you guys in a bit.
So don't let your past experience blow your vision when it comes to this person because it's so not what you think, Aquarius. It's not what you think. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. 